Hello, this is Pastor Chika Amadi, and this is the Pastor's Wife Talk Show. It is my great pleasure coming your way today. 12 noon is a very important hour, and I don't want you to take this time for granted. God is about to reach out to you. God is about to break off certain hindrances and strongholds in your life. God is meeting you today. I don't know what your desire is. I don't know what you, you, you are looking up to God for. I am here as God's servant sent by the Spirit of God to minister to you. So this is the Pastor's Wife Talk Show. We've been on air for some time, but we went on break, and we are back by God's grace. We are back more anointed. We are back, you know, equipped to help you. But today, we are going to be talking to you on what the Lord spoke to me about, that as believers, if you are already born again, God asked me to tell you to live free. Live unashamed. Live life large. And live in a way that you are an influence. Live in a way that you are free from the power of sin. Live in a way that you walk in dominion that Jesus has offered to us. That's why we are here today. I want to encourage you, live what unashamed. I don't know how your background has been. I don't know what your background has been. And I don't know what it is today. But can we leave the background where it is background, actually? And let's fast forward. Whatever that has brought shame to you, by the Spirit of God today, I come against them. Every stronghold of shame in your life, I pull them down completely. I pull them down. That error you made, yes, you served a prison sentence. Yes, your home, your home was repossessed. Yes, your marriage uh, had a problem. You made a terrible mistake. You fell from your faith. But today, God has come to encourage you. I have come with the gospel of Jesus. The gospel of Jesus is the power of God unto salvation. In Romans chapter 1, verse 16, it says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Sheikh Amadi, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Because the gospel equips you and empowers you. The gospel equips you and removes every shame. Because Jesus died to take away your shame. In the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 18, Jesus says that the Lord has anointed me. Why? To heal the broken hearted. So everywhere you have been broken, and the shame that comes with brokenness, the shame that comes with disappointment, the shame that comes with failure, the shame that comes with frustration, today I address them in the name of Jesus. I bind them and I break their hold over your life. Be free, for whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Maybe you are not born again and you're watching me today. God is coming your way. You are depressed. You're in a bad place. You are so depressed. You're about to give up. Maybe you're even considering suicide. But can I announce you that all things will work out together for your good? Hold on. Don't quit yet. Hang on where you are. Angels are all released on your behalf right now. There are angels that have gone out. There are angels that have gone out on behalf of you. God is sending divine helpers your way. It is not yet over. Don't throw in the towel. I encourage you, don't throw in the towel. Don't walk out from that job. Don't walk out from that church. Don't walk out from that marriage. Don't walk out from that relationship unless God speaks to you. God is sorting things out for you. Hallelujah. If you believe, you say a big amen. Amen. I, the Bible says that the life and death is in the power of the tongue. The word that has spoken to you right now has brought life into you. Life is infused into you. Where you are sick, where you are depressed, where you are demoralized, where you are so discouraged. Today, the word of God is speaking. The anointing is coming with it and it's going to tear down that yoke. Your joy is coming back. Your peace is coming back. Take them back. Take back all that belongs to you that the enemy has stolen. Take them back. Take back your job. Take back your joy. Take back your home. Take back your vibrancy. Don't allow anything to suppress you. Don't allow any, uh, the devil make you look small. If you are not born again and you are in the streets, you are in a wrong business. You are, your heart is full of hatred and bitterness and offense. God is reaching out to you today. I bring the power in the blood of Jesus to you. That by the blood, let your sin begin to be washed away. Humble yourself before God now. The Bible says, God says, I am standing at the door. Of your heart if you open i will come in and sup with you how god loves you god loves you genuinely i tell you i have experienced god's love and that is greatest thing i have in my life that is what has kept me joyful 
People ask me, Pastor Chica, why are you always excited and happy? I say, because the love of God in my heart is so overwhelming. Because God loves me, I'm not waiting for people to love me. People love me anyway, but God's love is the foundation. Once I know that God loves me, every other thing comes together. And I want you to know today, yes, you may have blown it. You may have made mistakes. You may have committed the worst sin. You may have disappointed yourself. Today, forgive yourself and ask God to forgive you. Tell God that you are sorry. God is giving you a second chance. Yes, your second chance is here. Second chance at life. You, you may have been told that you, your life wa was going to end within a few days. But I want to assure you that today, your life is coming back to you. Like Hezekiah, when God sent uh, Isaiah and told Hezekiah, prepare your, your, your days, prepare your home, because you are going to die. When he cried to God, God is hearing your voice like Hezekiah right now. God is hearing your heart cry. God is seeing the blame in your heart. God is seeing the pain in your heart. God sees the wound. He sees the scars you are bearing. Scares of being there and being abandoned. Scares of looking after people and being abandoned. Scares of trying your best and yet they are talking down on you. They are hating on you. God is stepping into you right now. God is reaching out deep into your heart. God is reaching out, pressing to Jesus right now. I want to encourage you, pressing to Jesus. Jesus is doing something in your heart. Jesus is working on you this afternoon. Do not allow him to pass you by. Just humble yourself. Say, Lord, I have tried everything I could. I have tried motivational uh, people. I have tried counseling. I have tried therapies. I have tried everything. I don't know what else to do. I want you today give Jesus a chance. Give him a chance to do something for you. He will break off that yoke, that thing that pulls you back. That addiction, the power is being broken right now. Receive your freedom completely. Receive your freedom. God is interested in you. God is interested in you. He says, my thought towards you is thought of peace and not of evil. To give you your expected end. God desires and delights in the prosperity of his children. Will you answer God today? Will you release yourself to Jesus? Will you surrender completely? Will you leave the hearts behind? Will you leave all that they have done behind? Will you leave all your dirtiness, all your filthiness behind and accept the love of God? Love covers all sins. The love of God covers every sin. He covers, he doesn't remember them. He doesn't, come, he doesn't just hide them and remember them again and pull them back. What you did last year, what you did last year. No, it is the devil who is the accuser of the brethren. But I want to let you know that today Jesus is setting you free. And when the enemy comes to your heart, reminding you of your past, remember what Jesus asked the woman caught in adultery. He said, where are your accusers? When the devil comes to remind you of your yesteryear mistake, tell the devil you can't accuse me for there is no condemnation unto me for I am in Christ Jesus. If anybody, human or spiritual, are condemning you, tell them there is no condemnation unto me for I am justified by my faith in Christ Jesus. All you need is to put your faith in Jesus and what he did on the cross of Calvary. Without the cross, there is no salvation. Without the cross, there is no hope. Maybe you are hopeless right now. Your future looks so bleak. Bleak, sorry. Your career is almost uh, over. In, in your workplace, it's so harsh. The environment is so harsh. You, you are experiencing harshness. You experience volatile atmosphere, toxic people around you, trying to pull you down, trying to downgrade you. Please do not allow anybody downgrade you. One thing you must take out today is learn how to be you without being apologetic. God made you in a special way. You are unique in your own way. Don't allow the devil tear you down and make you be somebody else. The only way you, if you want to change, you only want to change into the glory of Jesus, into the glory of God. But don't change because your husband said, if you are, if you are, too, if you are too fat, I'm not going to marry you again. Please, if that is the only reason why you want to change, I will say no. If you want to lose well, lose it in your own time because you feel good. If you want to, but if you know you are in sin and you are in the in sin lane, you are walking in sin lane, you are walking in hatred lane, you are walking in bitterness. Yes, you need to change. You need to change. So, but before we get there, if today 
the word of God is touching you and you say, Pastor Chica, I, I want to really have peace in my life. I want to receive the love of God. I know at times it's hard to receive, to refuse the love of God because you have been hurt. But I want you to know that God's love will not hurt you because he will not judge you. He will not judge you and he's not even demanding it back from you. God's love is just, you know, free like air. So if you want that love today, just first of all, give your life to Jesus. And all you need to do is very simple. Just release yourself and say, Lord, I am sorry, I'm turning a new leaf. I want to be your child today. The Bible says that as many as have received him, he has given them the power to become the sons and the daughters of God. You can't be a child of God. That's the best identity you can have. Not being a professor, not being a doctor or a lawyer or whatever. The best idea you can have is to be called a child of God. And I am very excited. I am very bold to tell anybody that I am a child of God. And that is what stands out for me. That makes me a citizen of heaven. That entitles me to all that God has for me. When Jesus went on the cross of Calvary, you don't need to wait until you go to one person to confess your sins. You can't confess to God right now. Because when Jesus hung on the cross, when he rose again from the grave, you know what happened? You got, you got access to God. You have access to God. You have access to God's heart. You have access to God's will. You have access to God's blessing. All the blessings, all the best that God has, all the best treasures, belongs to you you have access to them so you can pray for yourself while you are there you can cry out to him you don't need to meet somebody but i will only guide you on how to tell him to come into your heart if you are ready for jesus right now you want to press into him if you want to get the best from him first you have to be his child isn't it you need a friendship with him you need to be god's friend so that you can be chatting with him, you can whisper your hearts, your pains, you can tell him when nobody is there, you know he's always with you. If you want to do that, the Bible says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word. You are hearing the word of God. It's so simple. God, you know, God calling you, he's not calling you to climb the mountains. He's not calling you to do something massive. No. All he wants you to do is to believe in your heart that you cannot help yourself, that God is the one who can help you. If God does not help you, you can't help yourself. No man can help you. No woman can help you. No government can help you. No police can help you. No lawyer can help you. Nobody is God who touches the heart of men to help you. So if you are ready for that, just receive him. Believe that Jesus died for you. Jesus died for the whole world. Jesus died for you and for me and for people who are yet unborn. So when God sees us, God sees Jesus. So if you want Jesus into your heart today, say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I'm so repentant. I'm really sorry for disappointing you for walking in rebellion. Today, I am sorry. Forgive me and wash me clean. I want to be your child. I accept you today to be the Lord over my life. I surrender all my knowledge. I surrender my understanding. I surrender my beauty. I surrender all my accomplishments. I surrender my skills. Everything about me, I surrender all. Be my Lord and be my Savior. And today I receive your grace. I receive every blessing that comes from you. I receive your spirit. And I receive grace to walk in righteousness. And I welcome you today. As you have received that, the, uh, uh, as you have received Jesus into your heart, the Bible says, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. So today I want you to celebrate your victory. Celebrate your freedom. You are free. Celebrate your liberation. Uh, liberation. You are, lib you are li liberated. You are free. You are a free woman. <laughs> Praise God. I celebrate with you. Congratulations for uh, accepting Jesus into your heart. Now, having done that, we, you have become Christ's ambassador. So you have to go out there to shine the light of Jesus, to represent Jesus on the earth. And if you want to represent Jesus, you must live free. You must live unashamed. Because if you are full of shame, shame is like a load, a cover. It's like a veil that covers you. So you cannot look up. You cannot talk vibrantly, you know. But when Jesus, when that veil was torn, when, the, when Jesus uh, gave up the ghost, the veil, the Bible said the veil tore. When that veil tore, the shame, the veil that has brought shame on you has been torn. Now you have access, you can see clearly. So live what? Unashamed. Celebrate who you are in Christ. You're a child of God. It's not about what you have accomplished. It's not about what you have. It's not about who is with you and who is not with you. 
It is about you and the Holy Ghost, you and Jesus, and you and the love of God. Look at you. So much love by God. God loves you. He cares for you. He wants the best for you. His thought to, for you is thought of peace and not of evil. So do not live in shame again. Live unashamed. Live free. I'm not talking of free to go back to sin. I'm not talking of that. Live free. Live free. Don't live like somebody in bondage again. Don't be bound by the sin of fear. A lot of believers, even you listening to me today, I don't know the fear you have in your heart. I don't know the fear that you have in your heart. I don't know what that fear is. Are you afraid? Are you afraid? <laughs> you know, recently, uh, everybody's talking about the Brexit. Are you afraid of the Brexit? They said there will be, uh, um, will fall off the cliff edge. Are you afraid of that? Do not be afraid. I remember in the Bible, when the, there was famine in the land of Egypt, when the children of Israel were in Egypt, and there was famine. You know what God did? He cares for his own. God placed children of Israel in the land of Goshen. So they never lacked anything. And by the Spirit of God today, I declare that wherever you are, is your land of Goshen. Water will not lack. You will not lack water. You will not lack food. You will not lack uh, whatever you need. You will not lack in any way. Your body is bringing forth. Your healing is coming speedily. Financially, God is lifting you up. In your workplace, you shall flourish. The Bible says in Psalm 1 that, that you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. By the reason of being a child of God, you are like a tree planted by the uh, rivers of water. Your root goes down into the source, and God is your source because he is the all-sufficient God. So you cannot lack anything. He says, before, as soon as you call, even before you start calling on God, he says, I will answer you. So call on God this morning, this afternoon, and God will answer you. So I want to challenge you, when you live uh, free, live unashamed, live large, and also today I want to ask you, confront the fear in your heart. Confront the fear in your heart. Because Jesus has set you free from fear and failure. He has set you free from spiritual blindness. You are no more ignorant of God's love. He has set you free from strongholds and powers of darkness. Today, God is setting you free from emotional bondage and captivity. A lot of people, nothing good is happening to you because you despise people who are, who are doing very well. When people have testimony, you don't. You are inside of you, you are bitter, you are angry. Why is it hard? It is stopping you. It's, it is a stronghold. Confront it today. Deal with it. Rejoice with those that rejoice. When God does something for people, rejoice. Don't be sad. Rejoice. Because it's a stronghold. That's why Jesus died. To remove all those old lifestyles. You know it. The old lifestyle of jealousy. Of being jealous of somebody. Of unhealthy competition. Of being offended at any, any opportunity. God is healing you of offense. God is what? Healing you. Be free today. For whom Christ has set free. is free indeed. Be free. Now you confront whatever that has been confronting you. God has given you power. In the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Jesus says, I have given you power over serpent and scorpion. To trample upon serpent and scorpion. And upon every part of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Remember Jesus was made manifest. To destroy the works of darkness. So the works of darkness. Should not have, should not have dominion over you. Sin should not have dominion over you. Fear should not have dominion over you. Nothing should have dominion over you. Reign in Christ. You are a royal priesthood. You belong to a royal priesthood. You are, a, you are royalty in Christ. So you have been bought to reign. Reign over your circumstances. Reign over your challenges. Reign over your fears. Reign over the failures. Do not allow fear to dominate you. Do not allow fear to tear you down. Do not allow fear to bring you down. Yesterday, I saw an advert on London Underground Train. That, that advert said, to start a business is a test of character. And it touched me, I just grabbed it immediately. He said, to start ordinary business, whether big or small, it is a test of character. You know why? Because business is full of what? Risks, fears. So, but if you cannot start a business, there is fear in your heart. So it is only the bold 
as a lion that can start a business. That's why that's, that uh, advert was there. So God has not given you the spirit of fear anymore. He has given you boldness, sound mind, and the heart of love. So go out there and love liberally. Love generously. Love fiercely. Love vehemently. Where you are not loved, return it with love. Amen? Do not allow fear to occupy your heart. Don't allow anger. Do not allow hate. Don't allow offense to occupy you. Live free in Christ. Be free in your spirit. Flow freely. Don't carry too much load. It weighs you down. When you carry too much load of hurt that people have done to you, it weighs you down. It saddens your life. It depresses you. God has not called you into that kind of life. Amen. So, why are you fearful? And what is it that you are afraid of? The secret of overcoming it is to own up. If you know what your fear is that is stopping you from living free and unashamed, today address it. And I bring the power of God in your circumstance. Whatever that is challenging you, whatever that has made you cower down, whatever that has stolen your power to be unashamed, I arrest it by the Spirit of God today. Are you afraid of getting married because you're afraid of responsibility? I break that power in the name of Jesus. Are you afraid of stepping out? You're afraid of being hot again? You don't want to enter into any relationship? You don't want to go to church again because you're afraid of being hot? No. Let the love of God flow into your heart. When you have so much love in you, you have no place for offense. You have no place to be hot. When you have so much love, I'm telling you, people will offend you, it will not enter into your heart because your heart is already sealed with the love of God. People get heartbroken because their heart is not filled with love. Because when God loves you, love yourself. When you are so much overwhelmed and filled with love, there is no fear that can conquer you. There is no hatred that can conquer you. Whosoever that resents you, you don't even understand. You don't even feel it. Amen? God bless you. I hope you are receiving it. Please do give us a call uh, on the numbers uh, on the screen. Or you can uh, email us at... Uh, um, ositabeta at yahoo.com or dot co dot uk sorry or better still chica madi at me dot com chica amadi at me dot co and also i want to invite you one of these days come and worship with us in our church good news bible church we are in in white city it's a second floor westmore westmoreland house scrubs lane nw10 6 RE. We have morning services on Sundays, 10 a.m. and evening, 5 p.m. Do not miss a day on Sunday not to be in church. Remember, God gave us a commandment. One of them is keep my Sabbath, Sabbath day holy. Jesus did not abolish it. So, avail yourself and enjoy one of our services. And this Saturday and Sunday, our youths, led by our, 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 our assistant resident pastor, Pastor Emmanuel, Samuel, they are having a program, Thy Kingdom Come. I bet on Saturday we will start with musical jamboree, musical concert. We are going to dance before the Lord. Please join us. Second floor, Westmoreland House, Scrubs Lane, White City, NW10 6RA. And on Sunday it starts 10 a.m., but Saturday is 5 p.m. Bring somebody along with you. We have a lot of guest singers who are coming to bless us. And I want to tell you, when you listen to our man of God, our senior pastor, preach the gospel, Pastor George Amade. Pastor George Amade, who is the senior pastor of Good News, you need to listen to him. When you listen to him, your life will not be the same. By God's grace, he's a man God called very young and early. So I'm going to leave you today and say what? Confront that fear. Live unashamed. Live large in Christ. When I mean living large in Christ, it means live fullness of Christ because we are complete in Christ. So live the life of Christ. Live the life of joy. And you will see God manifest his power. And I pray for you today. Heavenly Father, I ask that you reach out to that man, that woman listening today. Whatever that is the fear and the challenge, Whatever that has brought them into shame and disgrace, whether from their foundation, 
love whether from their environment whether self-inflicted whether imposed by powers of darkness i release the power of the most high god and i confront that power I break its hold over your life. I break off chains over your neck. I broke off every yoke over your life. Be free today in Jesus' name. Be free to manifest the glory of God. You shall manifest the glory of God. You shall. You will not be a victim. You will be a, a, a survivor. You will be a victor. You will be a celebrator. You will celebrate. People will celebrate you. Many will come to your glory. You will shine. Your light will shine. Your candle will not go dim. This land will answer unto you. Say amen to that. United Kingdom will answer unto you. A little effort you are putting in from today shall bring so much. A little you will put in will bring so much. I release the favor of God upon your life. Favor that cannot be denied. That whatever you open your mouth to ask, whether from God or from man or woman, it shall be released unto you. Receive that kind of favor today for your day. Of favor is here today God has remembered you your time has come your time to manifest is here your time to be elevated is here your time of